Walter was just an ordinary guy who lived an ordinary life as a dock worker. But one day, out of nowhere, his life changed forever. A group of eagles had chosen Walter and surrounded him wherever he went. But why? Walter had to figure that out. Was there something sinister about the eagles' behaviour? As flattered as Walter was by the eagles choosing him, he was also very confused. Eagles typically stayed away from humans and could sometimes even attack them. So why were these eagles so nice to him? And why did he feel like they even trusted him? There had to be something else going on. Walter felt it was his responsibility to figure out what had caused the sudden change in the eagles' behaviour. They came to his work every day to be fed, and they recognised Walter out of all the people working on the dock. But Walter was in for a big surprise. Walter decided to do something no one had ever done before with wild eagles. They had very sharp beaks and strong wings. He could get hurt with only one wrong move, but he knew this was the only way to figure out what was really going on. But why were the eagles so obsessed with Walter? Was there really a reason for it? And what would Walter do about it? Walter grew up in a small coastal village surrounded by lush greenery and wildlife. As a child, he was always fascinated by nature and animals. He would spend hours exploring the countryside, observing the various species of birds and other wildlife that lived there. He had a special connection with birds. Their freedom and grace always inspired him. Despite his love for nature, Walter's family did not share his passion. Instead, they encouraged him to pursue a more practical career, so he trained to become a dock worker. He worked hard and was eventually promoted to the position of foreman, responsible for overseeing the departure and arrival of ships. Despite his busy schedule, Walter never lost his love for nature. He would often take breaks from his duties to observe the local wildlife and enjoy the peace and beauty of the coast. He was known for his kind and gentle nature and had a soft spot for animals, especially birds. One day, as he was performing his duties, Walter spotted an eagle perched on the edge of the dock. It was an unusual sight, as eagles typically avoid human contact. So it came as no surprise that Walter was instantly intrigued. This was the moment that would change his life forever. He decided to approach the bird and offer it some food. The eagle was initially wary, but it soon realised that Walter meant no harm. It cautiously took the piece of meat from his hand and ate it. After he finished the meat, the eagle flew away instantly. Walter was glad he helped the hungry bird and didn't think much of it after that. The next day, Walter arrived at the dock to find the eagle waiting for him. It had returned for more food and Walter was thrilled. He fed the bird again and spent some time observing its behaviour. He was fascinated by the way the eagle moved and how it seemed to trust him. Walter never imagined that he would form a bond with a wild animal. This was all he could have ever dreamt of. But he wondered why the eagle would act like this. Was it unable to hunt by itself? Maybe its habitat was in danger and it wanted Walter to help him. Walter went home that day with many questions going through his head. He was glad the eagle confided in him, but he worried it wouldn't survive in the wild anymore. The next day he returned to the dock expecting to see the eagle patiently waiting for him. But to his surprise, the eagle wasn't there anymore. Walter couldn't help but feel disappointed. He wished his time with the eagle would have been longer. But there was nothing he could do about it, so he continued with his work for the day. Then, around noon, when Walter was about to go on his lunch break, he heard a familiar sound from above. The eagle had returned, but it wasn't alone this time. A whole group of eagles landed on the dock and looked at Walter with hopeful eyes. Walter was taken aback by the eagles' trust in him. He had gathered his friends and brought them to him. This meant the world to Walter. Walter was moved by the eagles, so he headed inside and quickly got some meat out of the freezer. He had stored a few cubes of raw meat there in case the eagle would return, but it wasn't enough for all the eagles. So he quickly headed to the store and bought more. When he came back, Walter noticed many people had gathered around the eagle. It was just as special for them as it was for Walter. But Walter wasn't happy with all the commotion. 
He feared the eagles would get scared by the other humans and fly away, never returning to Walter. So, Walter did something he wasn't proud of. He told the bystanders the eagles were his trained pets and that they were very sick. Even though it wasn't Walter's proudest moment, his plan did work. Some people got scared and kept more distance between themselves and the birds, and others even left. Walter was finally alone again with the eagles, but his break was almost over. He fed them quickly and expected them to fly away, but they stayed. This confused Walter, but he had no time to dwell on it. He quickly got back to his job, but throughout the day, something extraordinary happened. As Walter proceeded with his duties, he expected the eagles to fly away eventually. But the eagles stayed put and kept a close eye on Walter the whole time. If he went away to go inside a ship, for example, he would come outside and see the eagles had walked over to that same ship. They were following him. Walter felt very special by the eagles' behaviour, but he couldn't shake the confusing feeling about why the eagles were behaving this way. He had to figure out what was going on with them and possibly help them if needed. And he knew just the way, but it wasn't an easy way. For his plan to work, Walter needed a very small camera and he had to catch an eagle or get one of them to trust him so he could put the camera around its claw. So, after work, Walter went back to the store and bought as much raw meat as he could. Then, he carefully laid all the meat in a little pile in front of him and waited. He sat very still, and slowly the eagles walked his way and began eating the meat. They had very sharp beaks and claws, and could easily hurt Walter, so he had to be very careful. He chose one of the eagles, the one who stood closest to him, and carefully tied the camera around its claw. Walter's heart was beating in his chest, but he managed to succeed. Then he slowly stepped back and connected the camera to his phone to see if it worked, and to his excitement, it did. When the eagles finished their second meal of the day, they flew away with their bellies filled. Walter felt very pleased with his plan. On the camera footage, he could see where the eagles were going after they ate and maybe show him what had happened to their habitat that they couldn't hunt for themselves anymore. That evening, Walter sat behind his laptop and watched live what the eagles were doing. They were still flying, so it seemed like they had come from very far. The camera Walter had bought also came with a GPS tracker, so he knew exactly where they were. But when he looked at the tracker, he was shocked. The eagles were flying in circles above Walter's home. He hadn't realised it yet, but when he looked at the tracker, he suddenly saw his own address. So he ran outside to see if it was true, and it was. And when they noticed Walter, they dove down and landed in his backyard. Walter was stunned. How was it possible that these eagles knew where he lived? He was very sure that they had not followed him on his way home, as he had to have seen them if that was the case. He knew these animals were great hunters, but this should have been impossible. Walter was now faced with a big dilemma. How was he going to deal with this very strange situation? He could simply call animal control and let them deal with it, but he had no idea what they would end up doing with the animals. And on top of that, this would not answer any of his questions. He was now even less sure that these eagles were following him just because he was feeding them. If that was the case, then they would have most likely just waited for him at the docks, as that was where he was always feeding him. There just had to be something else going on here. And so, Walter decided against calling animal control, and instead, he came up with a plan. He was going to continue with his normal daily routine but he was going to stop feeding the eagles completely. This would prove to him if they were just here for the food or for him. But this plan came with a risk. He was dealing with wild animals. Wild and dangerous animals that were getting used to being fed by him. Who knows how they would react when he suddenly stopped giving them what they wanted? And so Walter decided to take some extra measures to protect himself. For the next couple of days, Walter did not leave his house without his loaded Glock but he did make sure he only loaded it with blanks. He wanted to scare the eagles away and not harm them. He just had to make sure that nobody at work saw him carrying the weapon, as he could easily be fired for it. During the following night, 
the eagles stayed put at Walter's house, and the next day he actually saw them fly with him to work. He could also still track the eagle on which he had put a tracker to confirm this beyond doubt. Walter was actually getting more and more nervous for that day. He was not going to feed the animals, that much he was sure of. But he had to make very sure that other people stayed away from him that day, as he would feel bad if the eagles attacked him, but he would feel even worse if they attacked other innocent people. It was a stressful day. But in the end, nothing really happened yet. The eagles were present around Walter for the whole day like normal. But even though he did not feed them, they did not react badly or something. They were just as calm as ever. Still, Walter could barely focus on work as he was just constantly on edge because of the situation. He secretly hoped that the eagles would not follow him home that day, but when he looked at the tracker, he quickly realised that hope was idle. The eagles were at his house even before him today. They were waiting next to the front door when he walked by. Walter felt like they were staring into his soul. He had half a mind to just feed them so that at least they would not attack him, but he had to stay true to his plan. And so, the next couple of days went by nearly identically to how the first day without feeding went. The eagles did not leave Walter's side at all, and still did not even slow the slightest sign of aggression when he just kept refusing to feed them. But things were about to change. At the dock, Walter's boss had just about enough of the eagles constantly being in the way and disrupting the busy workflow. Walter had the choice of making sure the eagles left, or he would be fired on the spot. The eagles had to go one way or another. A part of Walter was saddened by this as he had really bonded with animals during the period, and it would mean he most likely never found out why they were here for him in the first place. But another part of Walter also could not help but feel some relief. The next day, Walter made sure that he brought his pistol and even asked his colleagues to take theirs. To get rid of the eagles, the boss made an exception for their carrying firearms rule. With pain in his heart, Walter and his co-workers aimed their guns in the air and started firing blanks. From the moment the first shot went up in the sky, the eagles looked completely shaken and couldn't get out of there fast enough. Walter was very sure that they had been scared so badly that they would probably never return. But what his boss did not know was that Walter still had the tracker in place. When Walter came home that evening, he immediately noticed that the eagles were not there. The scare tactic had clearly worked wonders. But all Walter could think of was where they were now. So the first thing he did was fire up the tracker again to check. To his surprise, the eagles were actually not that far from him. The tracker seemed to point in the direction of a small house only about a 15-minute drive away from him. Were the eagles now bothering somebody else after a scared them away? Walter knew he should have just left the animals alone, but the man could not control his curiosity. He just had to know what the eagles were doing. He had spent too much time with them to just forget about them the second they were out of his sight. Walter got into his car and drove to the address where the eagle tracker was located. And when he got to the very normal-looking house, he could see the eagles being spread all over it. Who was living here that was attracting these eagles in the same way that he did? Walter stepped up to the house and nervously rang the doorbell. A woman about his own age opened up the door, and when she looked him in the face, her eyes went wide. She started stumbling that this could not be true and nearly passed out. Walter could just about catch her. She was able to give the explanation Walter had been so desperate for. Apparently, the eagles had first bonded to her late husband, Danny. He had fed the animals nearly every day for about a year, and they were always at their house and his work. But sadly, Danny passed away about two weeks ago. The eagles had loyally stayed at the house for a while, even though Danny's wife was no longer feeding them. She had other things on her mind with the death of her husband. Then suddenly, the eagles were just gone one day. One of them had most likely seen Walter, and the other birds had followed it. And the woman very much understood why this happened. Walter was the spitting image of her late husband, Danny. When she first saw him, she was sure that he had come back to life again. 
When the woman was past the shock, she explained that she was actually happy that she had the birds back at her house. She had been missing the company and was planning on feeding them daily again so that they would not leave her side. Walter now occasionally comes by to see the birds.